saw Jesus twice in one night. All I could do was fall on my knees and cry. Suddenly I saw Jesus right behind Gabriel. I saw Jesus show up in Disneyland. That's when I saw Jesus, and you can see him too. I never forget, as I looked to my left, I saw Jesus walk to me. His face was white. And then I saw Jesus holding my hand. When I saw Jesus. So guys, you just heard it there. He saw Jesus, and that's what he said. And that's what he said. And then I looked up, and in the clouds, I saw Jesus with another man. It was like, I'm like, is that God the Father? But he's not a man. And I'm like, what's happening? I don't understand. I couldn't take any more of that video, so I just had to stop it. You know, let me help that young, last young lady understand and all the rest of them. You didn't see Jesus. You, you had a mass hallucination is what you were seeing. The mass hallucination is the fact that they have created this image of Jesus based on Caesar at Borgia, who was the son of um, Pope Alexander VI. And that has become your framework of Jesus. And because you have this implemented into your mind, when you see a figure that looks like that, you think it's Jesus. The guy said his face was white. Are you freaking serious? This man who supposedly lived in Palestine, in the Levant, in a place of, that's a desert, that's right by Egypt, that would have been brown skin at minimum. And you saw a dude with a white face? Oh, here's what's funny. Most of the time when in the Old Testament, they talk about them seeing God or seeing the angels or seeing um, the son of man. You ever notice that initially they don't know who it is and they have to be told who it is. But because you have this mindset of you are you have already decided what Jesus looked like. When you have this hallucination, this DMT in your brain, the shrooms, the whatever it is you're on, the distress in your life, and you have this vivid dream or, or, or delusion, you are projecting what society has already told you what this Jesus character is supposed to look like. And then if Jesus is supposed to be God, and no man has seen God, and that no man can see God face to face. How in the hell y'all seeing Jesus and y'all still alive? Because you're not supposed to still be alive if you see the face of God. So if you're able to see Jesus, then you're not seeing God. You're seeing Jesus, a sub-deity, a spiritual being. But it sure hell ain't God because you would be dead. But I feel bad for these people because I honestly believe that when they're so-called seeing Jesus, they're in a desperate state of mind. And in that desperation, their mind reaches out to what they have been trained to believe is their salvation. And you're seeing Jesus at Disneyland and all these places. That's where Jesus wants to show up to see y'all. How about Jesus showing up? to the homeless kid, to the starving kid, to the child that's dying of cancer, to the war-torn area, areas. How about Jesus showing up there? If I had let the video continue, there was a man who was saying that Jesus showed up to him and asked, what have you done in your life for me? That's a very narcissistic Jesus, that he would show up to a man who is very well taken care of in America, living the American life, and asking what has he done for him? Instead of showing up and doing some miracles for people who actually need some miracles. Some people who need food. Some people who need um, saving from some death disease, terminal disease. People who actually need a miracle. Not somebody who been living their life and go preach to some more people so you can get more people to follow me. If you want people to follow you, Jesus. Go save some people and do some miracles. Go do some things that people can't explain. Not some emotional bullshit that these people are spewing out their mouths and many Christians do all the time. Oh, Jesus helped me get this job. Jesus helped me find my keys. Jesus uh, kept me from having an accident. You can have an accident in America and, and walk away from it. But there's a child right now who is breathing their last breath from having some terminal disease. But Jesus never shows up. 
Jesus fake, bro. Jesus fake. And I have no admiration for that. So y'all have a great day. And remember always, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.